Alex from Unsubscribed Healthcare. I wanted to review Google Workspace individual plan, uh, new e-signature feature. It is still in beta, so it's still not rolled out to everything yet, but it's a pretty cool feature, so we're going to review that now. The way that you get to it is you click on Insert e-signature fields, and then you'll come here and click Signature, and you can see this blue box is created. Same thing when you go to Date, another blue box is created. We click on Request Signature, go to whoever you want to send it to. Only one recipient is allowed, optional messaging. Once you click Send, it will say this, the file is being locked, so that doesn't allow you to change anything. That makes sure that you don't change the terms and agreement while somebody is going to sign it. After a little bit, it will say refresh. I just got an email notification on my phone saying that it is sent over. So you click reload. And when you go to type anything or click, you can't do anything to the document now. And you can see in the bottom left, the document is locked, unlocked to edit. But all I can do is highlight, I can't type anything into the fields. So what's it look like on the person who receives the e-signature request? Okay, you'll say new signature required or request. You click on it. You get these options at the top, mark is complete, reject, view details, and download. So what we can do is that we can come down here, click on sign, type in your name, and you can see at the bottom it says, by clicking adopt and sign, I agree that the signature above may be used to electronically sign documents through Google Docs. When placing this, doc this signature on any document, I agree to be bound by the terms of that document. Uh, the date is auto-filled, so you don't need to do that. But then you can mark as complete. Now that that is filled in, this is just the terms of service, letting you know that it's still in beta. Okay, you've signed the document, you've seen this uh, signed copy of your email shortly. That takes about two to three minutes of it. Um, it does send you one right away. And if you click on this, it will say that it, the document is not available. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but again, it's still in beta, so it's still being tested out. But basically, after three or four minutes, you'll get this, and it is your signed copy. So it allows the people who are uh, signed it to now have a copy of what they actually signed. But yeah, that's been a quick review on the new Google e-signature feature for Google Docs. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, subscribe for to Unsubscribed Healthcare for more helpful videos, and I'll catch you next time.